Hello fighting game fans worldwide. What's up? It is I, FGF Chris. And tonight we're going to take a look at a very obscure Japanese video game for the Neo Geo Pocket Color that was only ever released in Japan. This has not seen the light of day in an English translation until now. Okay, if you go online, there's this product you can get that was created by this guy named Flavor. He is a really awesome dude. He created the Flash Master cart for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. And what that cart does is allows you to upload ROMs of a Neo Geo Pocket game onto the cart and you can play it and, you know, basically cycle through it and stuff. And it's really awesome. So anyway, he created with a team of people a English translation for SNK versus Capcom Card Fighters Clash 2, the expanded edition. And we're going to dive in and check it out. And um, also, I want to give a shout out to um, Kiddo. Kiddo created a card game based on this game <laughs> that we're going to be checking out today. And the card game is a physical card game. You can actually use cards and battle your friends and stuff. So Kiddo really invented something really cool too. Yeah, shout out to Kiddo and Flavor. Cheers, guys. You guys are the best for the Neo Geo SNK community. So anyway, let's get rolling. Let's check out the game. Card Fighter 2. English edition, yay. Okay, we're gonna continue. Now I have played this game a lot already. And I put it up on an emulator because why not? Um, basically I used the Flash Master to transfer the data over to um, the emulator. So let's go to story. And I'll show you guys around a little bit. Um, here is Joy Joy. And there's Kiddo, look. The guy created a Card Fighters project. <laughs> Yo Catch, how's your deck? Um, it's pretty good. So when you go to the Joy Joy shop, you could battle him or check his cards out. Out of curiosity, I'm going to be checking out his cards a little bit. Okay, got Mischief, Maxima. Yeah, you can buy cards. And how you buy them is you click on them and you can transfer the cards that you already have, which I need to transfer three over to get these special cards. But we're not going to do that because I got all the good ones anyway. So let's battle him just for the heck of it. Bring it on, kiddo. <laughs> let's do it. Let's wreck stuff up. Yeah, this is like a very addictive game. And the shout outs to the fighting game companies that these represent um, are, <laughs> are sublime. Like there's so many fighting game and video game references from both SNK and Capcom. And I love it. So we'll check our hand out. We got Raiden from Fatal Fury 2. Akari from Last Blade. Wait in Vain, which is an action reaction card that makes the character uh, your enemy wait before attacking. Another Akari from Last Blade. And Chung Li Alpha. Okay, I think we're gonna put in Chung Li, why not? Alright, Chung Li enters the ring. Now, her ability is called Sorry, and it allows me to view the top three cards of my enemy's deck, and I discard two of them. That's pretty handy. I don't want her, him, blah, him to have Gendro, because he's kind of tough, and we'll get rid of one of these uh, Engo Kogeki. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ah, sorry, kiddo. All right, what is he going to do? What is he going to bring out? Oh, it's Juzo, a weak, weak ass card I don't care about. Yay! Alright. Remy? Remy's pretty good. Um, you know what we're gonna do? We'll put in. We'll put in Akari. This Akari. Why not? Minimal attack. For my Chunners. Of course, he's gonna counter because he doesn't want to lose his HP. Basically, you use the battle points of your characters to charge through your enemy lines to affect the main enemy's HP, hit points, like right up there and stuff. And uh, the battle points are what you use to attract, attack other battle points and HP. 
up. There you go, okay. Fine, do 100 damage to my enemy. Blah, my character. Alright. Yay, character's unfroze. It's always a plus. Oh, there's Yashiro. He's a pretty good one. And I'll throw in... I want to save Yashiro, so I'll throw in the other Akari. Can't back him up, though. Okay. You can also back up some characters' cards, too, to add extra strength. And it's pretty neat. So we're going to use Akari's ability, and we're going to get Raiden's HP, BP, for Akari. It's called Ponta Leaf. See, now she has 800 battle points of wreckage. And I'll choose Chung Li to attack again, why not? Alright, Marco Rodriguez. <laughs> Kushna Butt. He is from Mark Garo, Mark of the Wolves. Pretty neat. Yeah, go kick your butt. Okay. Yeah, Honda makes you draw more cards. Oh, cool, Omicron Psyche. Cool, all right. Saki is really handy. So we're going to defend with Akari. Take that cushion of the butt. Or Marco Rodriguez in um, Japan or whatever. Oh, got Natsu. Cool, all right. We're going to put in, hmm, Omicron Saki. And we're going to draw one of these powerhouses of mine from my deck. Yeah, you could uh, take any card out of your deck and use it to your advantage. We'll take Kyoku Sanagi from King of Fighters 94. Alright. Yep, he's in a deck and we'll attack. Um thinking no, we'll just do a regular attack. Use my Akari uh, from Last Blade and all that. Akari's such a fun character to use. I love using her in um, Last Blade 1, Last Blade 2. And then she's really, really cool in um, SNK versus Capcom Match of the Millennium. You could basically um, summon a middle slug, slug tank to uh, defeat her enemies in her super special move. Her level 2, I guess. But yeah, she summons like a lot of fan service. Alright, Kyo. Now, Kyo has an ability called Orochi Wave that damages Kiddo's HP by 500. Now, he's down a little bit. And we're just going to attack regular. Huh. Well, maybe not. You know what? We're going to go through her. We're going to use the United Attack. Now, the SP, which are soul points, allows you to use certain abilities, um, action cards, reaction cards, and uh, also when you use a United Attack, if you use a Unite 2, it costs um, 5 SP. 10 for all three characters. Okay, there's Juzo again. All right, whatever. All right, got Terry Bogard. Oh, yeah, we, we're playing Terry in. Hands down, bro. And then we're going to, uh, we'll just do a regular attack and this should win me the game. This was a very easy round, by the way. It was a really easy round because this guy is kind of like a basic fighter. But next, we're going to play against some uh, more skilled opponents. Yay, I beat Kiddo. You're getting stronger. All right, here's a card. <laughs> oh, cool. I got a... Uh... Yeah, that's neat. Come by any time. All right. So we'll go to, um, we'll check out Lost World real quick, because this is another thing I want to show you. They have a trade machine in Lost World. Now all of these venues are related to Capcom and SNK's company, and it's like a big fan service thing for it. So you can recycle Rarity D cards or Rarity C cards, four or eight. We're going to do Rarity C. We're going to get rid of some cards to put in the trade machine. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of cards I don't use typically. 
Oh, you get Kenso. I like Kenso. He sucks. It's like a weak Athena. <laughs> so now it's uh, registering all my um, card stuff. All right. Card ejected. Oh, I got Dong Wan. Okay. He's a fun one. He is from Garo Mark of the Wolves. He is Kim Kafwan's son and brother to Jae Hoon. Okay, and uh, yeah, we're not going to battle you. You used your trade machine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the main menu. I can like push the buttons right. There we go. You want to save it because I got Dong Wan. And what you could do is you could work on your deck. Now when you work on your deck, you have a total of 50 cards you could have put into your deck. No more or no less. 50 exactly. And you choose the cards, character cards, that you want in. Also, you could choose from SNK, Capcom, action cards, and reaction cards. So yeah, we'll, we'll browse through it. And the cool thing is, when you... Um, Scroll through, you can see the pictures, its ability, their abilities. It's really awesome. Oh, I love it. Yamazaki's a wrecking machine. So yeah, there you go. There's the SNK ones. We'll check out, check out some Capcom. Why not? Guile, Yonda. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Pretty cool. So yeah, you basically just choose what you want to keep and what you want to ditch. So now, without further ado, we're going to do some mad-ass battling. So yeah, when you choose a character to fight against, um, they give you special cards. And below, it tells you what cards they give you. Now, this is only unlocked when you beat the game, Story Mode. And um, the story is really goofy, by the way, but it's fun. So as you can see below, it tells you the cards that you win after you beat each opponent. So we're going to go against someone a little bit tough. I think we'll go against Fodru, who will give me all Capcom cards. We'll battle her out. She has that Chung Li vibe to her. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Classy. Alright. So now it's like a roulette with who goes first and who goes second. And it looks like she goes first. Now the first player doesn't draw any cards. They just, um, basically they have a hand of five cards and they put one in the ring. Okay. Now because I'm going second, I do draw a card, which really is handy. So what we're going to do is we're going to use, um, hmm, and Nakaruru, she's pretty good. Uh, we're going to use Rose, and she has an ability called Tarot Card, which makes me draw four cards and I have to discard one of them. And I think we'll get rid of Wait in Vain. I'm not a big fan of that one. I don't know why I have it in my deck, but whatever. It works. Oh, I have to do two of them? Oh, that sucks. Then we'll get rid of uh, Lucifer. I want the Devil in the House. Screw that noise. And we'll get rid of, hmm, get rid of Joe Gashi. I, I want to have Awakening because it's pretty handy to use. So we'll end the turn. Can't attack or anything on your very first turn. Pester, really? Really going there, kid? All right. So we're on a counter because I don't want to die. <laughs> and. I like the animations of, like, the special attacks they use. <laughs> like, beating up effects. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put in... We're going to put in Omicron Psyche. And we're going to select a card. And I think we're going to put in... Jin Satome. Why not? All right. And then I end my turn again. Okay, now he's attacking. Yeah, we'll defend against... Um, let me see, do I have any reaction cards I can use? No, I don't. Um, 
Hmm. We'll counter against Rock Howard. Got big old punches and my machine gun. And when you defeat them, it makes holes in your card. It's so freaking awesome. <laughs> totally dig it. Alright, so now I'm a little bit bruised. I'm a little damaged. But I'll be alright. I'm going to put in Kyoku Sanagi and deal 500 battle point HP of awesomeness. Then we're going to use Awakening on Omicron Psyche. And then we're going to attack with her. Sounds like a solid ass idea to me. Yay, some chip damage. Now, this character's, this player's tactics is she likes to try to make me run out of cards as fast as possible because there's two ways of winning. You either beat your opponent's HP or you get rid of all of the cards from the deck. As soon as all the cards are drawn, that person loses. Oh, you use escapey dick. Ah, oh. Crafty butt munch. All right. Okay, I got Yamazaki. That's pretty good. We're going to put in Jin Satome. And then we're going to attack Unite with Omicron Psyche and Kyoku Sanagi. This will go through her character's card right to her HP and deal serious damage. Kyoko, oh yeah, Kyoko, the girl I just put a hole in the head in. <laughs> she is from Project Justice, which is a Capcom game where there's high schoolers that like beat the crap out of each other. It's a lot of fun. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, do your thing, Akuma. Kuma Matata. All right. Oh, Regina. Okay, she's pretty good. But we're not going to use her yet. She basically has an ability where you put her in and any character that's 800 battle points or up gets put back into the hand. So we're going to use Yamazaki and freeze Akuma. Then we're going to attack with Chin Satome. Yeah, I'm definitely in the green on this one. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Ah, oh, she used Jeremy's Go Easy on me. Yeah, that means I can't attack for one turn. This is kind of bogus, but whatever. You had to use Jeremy. Dumb butt, butt face. Poopy face. All right. Okay. Oh, got Natsu. Cool. I think we're going to put in Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury. And then we'll attack with... Oh yeah, I can't attack because of stupid uh, Go Easy on me crap. Alright. Ah, uh, really? Oh, that Chung Lee is a pain in the butt, by the way. Spin Bird Kick. Lowers all characters except her. Battle points to 100. And... She loses all of her SP, which is a kind of an okay trade-off, I guess. I don't know. Okay, we're going to counter with um, Terry Bogard. Terry and share me. Let's do it. Yo, you zap me. Put a hole in my face. Sucks. <laughs> all right. All right, catch. Do your thing. Oh, Terry Bogard. Cool, another Terry. I think we're going to put in... Hmm, I need to search the cards real quick. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I was going to put in Yashiro and put her back in her hand, but she'll just come out again and use her Spinberg kick crap. Um, no, we'll put in Natsu. Why not? And then we're going to use Jin Satome's ability to KO both of us. Because I had a lot less BP, it wasn't much damage to me. And we'll end the turn. Please don't have another Akuma. I'm tired of your Akumas, dude. I got Kari and Lucky Kitty. All right. Oh, Ryu. Okay. I think we're going to put in... I'm putting Ryu. Why not? 
going to attack Natsu. Yeah, I got to be careful. I'm running out of cards a little bit quickly than usual. I just hope he, she doesn't bring out another Akuma, because that'll piss me off. Okay, Joe, that's fine. I don't care about Joe. Joe Schmo. Okay, good. I want to use Awakening on Natsu. Then I want to use uh, Lucky Kitty. No, no, we're not using Lucky Kitty. We're going to use um, Punryu. And then we're going to attack Unite, I think. And I think this might kill her, actually. Maybe. We'll see. So we'll start off with United with Natsu and then Ryu from Street Fighter. Yeah, Natsu is from um, Project Justice as well. She fights with a volleyball and she's a lot of fun to use. She is a really tall chick in that game too. Real big, big, big girl. She's sexy though. I'd totally go for it. Yep, and I think that cleared that up. I beat Furu! Yay! Victory! Alright. So let's play... Okay, I got some cards. Claire Redfield from Resident Evil. Victor from Darkstalkers. T-Hawk from... Uh, Street Fighter 2... Super Street Fighter 2. And then Arthur from Ghouls and Ghosts. Cool, alright. Next we'll fight... Um, Fight someone on a little bit of a chill side. Uh, we'll fight about against Comet. She's a little difficult, but I think we got this. Uh, then again, the more challenging the match, the more fun it is, in my opinion. It's a lot. It's a lot of good times to be had with this game. Okay, come on, let me go first. Ah, oh, you suck. All right. I like going first. It gives me like the security feeling that I might be all right. <laughs> I might be all right with things. Okay. So we're going to use um, Chung Li Alpha. We'll use Sorry again, and we're going to discard both Grant and Morgan. Yay! I don't have to deal with your crap. Ah, uh, Kagami. Kagami sucks. All right, yeah, we'll defend against uh, Rio. Okay, got 400 damage. All right, robot punch, cool. Um, we're gonna put in Terry Bogard, Legend of the Hungry Wolf, and we're also going to use Awakening on him. And I hope he doesn't have an Akuma card. If Kamen has Akuma, I will be pissed. Okay, you're at Grant. Whatever, I don't care about Grant. Alright, and I'm going to defend against Kagami. Oh, Kagami is from Last Blade. And, uh, yeah, he's like a pretty boy. He's like the Kiyokus evil Kyokusanagi of the Last Blade series, if that makes any sense. Alright. Oh, Nako. Cool. I think I'm going to throw in Yamazaki. No, we're not going to use Yamazaki. Um, that's great. We'll put Nako in. And then we'll have to just attack. So Grant's going to destroy Terry Bogard. That's just how it is. That's how he rolls. Yeah, this game... Oh yeah, there's my um, Nakuru's ability. 200 damage to uh, frozen characters. Yeah, this is the first time that um, re reaction cards were introduced to this game series. Ah, oh, great. It's going to kill me. Okay, no, that's not that bad. Are you using grenade? Cheap ass. Whatever. Okay, Rio attacks. Well, I will defend. I should have used Robo Punch. I don't know if I have enough SP for it yet, though. Yeah, I did have enough. Crap. Okay, wait in vain. Um, we'll put in Lucifer, Mr. Devil Dude. And then 
Um, yeah, we'll just attack. Why not? Hey, good. Finally damage to her HP. It's the first time for everything, I guess. Alright. Duck King. Ah, oh, great. Rimuru's tough now. And you're getting health back because of Rimuru. Stupid Samurai Showdown cards. Um, hmm. We'll use Raiden. Raiden. And... Actually, I want to search the card. I want to see what ability Lucifer has. Can. Oh, okay. That might be handy. Actually, yeah. Yeah, screw it. We're going to use Lucifer's ability and get rid of Nako and go for Duck King. It's kind of silly. It's kind of a silly move, but it works. Trust me. There's a method of my madness. I wonder if I can put in another card. Nope, I can't. Alright. And we'll end the turn. I didn't really want Rimuru in. Oh god, I forgot to get her. Alright. Didn't have enough battle points. Alright, um... Okay, we're gonna use Omicon Psyche. And we're gonna put in... Put in Kyoku Sanagi. He's a little heavy hitter. Alright, so now we're going to use a united attack with Lucifer and Raiden. This will deal some good damage. Of course, you use Robo Punch like a moron, but whatever. I'm cool with it. I'll roll. Oh, we have 100 battle points. <laughs> oh, crap. I couldn't attack her. Okay, there we go. Oh, screw you, dude. You're making me tired of all your BS. Okay. Okay, we want to... We're going to unite attack with Raiden and Omicon. Then we'll just attack regular with Lucifer. Alright, Mr. Kiyoshiro, Kabuki Man of Samurai Showdown. Okay. Yay! Finally, some substantial damage. Not bad. Oh, uh, you're using Grace. Now we're equally matched in, um, in, uh, hit points. Now I'm not, because stupid Nakaruru card. Rimururu. Okay, um, let me see here. Okay, I got an idea. Get rid of Raiden, and I need to clear my plate a little bit. So we'll do a little bit of damage to, uh, Rimururu. Just so I could uh, put another character on my side. And we'll put in Kyoku Sanagi. There we go, that's better. Now I feel happy. I'm doing I'm doing good good work here. <laughs> Sakura! Oh so cute, filled with bullet holes now, alright. Okay. Oh Morrigan, great. Ah, screw you kid. There's Natsu. You know what? I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna use just these two against her. <laughs> I knew she wasn't gonna defend, but it is chip damage and it counts a little bit. It's always good to chip damage your opponent a bit. It really kind of evens out the play field a little bit. It's kind of neat. Another Sakura card, okay. Yeah, we'll counter. Oh, actually, wait. I want to use Reaction card. Use Robo Punch. Oh, I need four of them? Okay, fine, we'll just counter. Now, all my characters have like one battle point. 
100 left. It's nothing. Okay. Yes, yeah, stupid. Get in your cards. Alright, we'll just attack. Good, thank you. I'm glad he KO'd me because now I can put a stronger character in. And do chip damage to you. Yay! All is well. Okay. Comet, alright. Yeah, I'm not countering. Um, well, shoot. I'm gonna make them wait in vain just for the hell of it. Haha. <laughs> now you guys can't attack me. LOL. <laughs> Okay, I got Awakening. That's pretty cool. We're going to put in Mr. Rugal Bernstein. And we're going to take away Rimururu's annoying ass ability. So now, she can't use stuff to get her HP up. And then we're going to go to Awakening. Ah, it costs too much, darn it. We'll just attack. Why not? Now you don't have your Rimururu ability. <laughs> you don't got shit on me, dude. Okay. Alright. Oh. Keizo's a character and gets SP. Okay. Aren't you fancy? Better have a lot of reaction cards. Ah. Uh, good. That actually helped me. That was, that was not bad. Raise of BP, alright. So we're on counter with Rugal Bernstein. I think I'm doing good. I think I think I'm on a good path here with us. Pretty solid. Oh there's Ryu. Cool. Alright, we're just going to attack and see what happens. Alright, Shiki. Shiki is one of my most favorite female characters in the Samurai Showdown series. She premiered back in uh, Warrior's Rage, I believe, or Samurai Showdown 64, one of those games. I think it was Warrior's Rage. I don't know. Don't quote me. There's Ramuru again, alright. Ah, uh, reaction. Can I use anything? I don't think I can. Nope. No counter. Do damage. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Well, that's gonna hurt a lot. Ouch. Whew. Oh, come on! I used... It's my ability to stop you. Alright. We're definitely using a slight gup. Okay, and then we're gonna use... Um, Ryu. And then we're going to use Awakening on Rugal, Mr. Boss of King of Fighters 94. And then we're going to say fuck it and do a United Attack. Pardon my French. I swear a lot, I know. It's a, it's a character flaw. <laughs> I don't know, I'm being dumb. To be honest, I shouldn't have done a United Attack because they're both 400. Oh well, it worked. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Alright, now he's got even more SP. Ah, oh, jeez, that sucks. Okay. Oh, Kareem! Kareem is so cool! She does damage when she is countered. I believe. Let me just double check. Alright, let's see. When she, when this character is countered, she deals 200 battle points of damage. I like that. I like that a lot. And then we're just gonna attack regular. Oh, bamboo shoot! Oh, you idiot! Well, not an idiot. That was a smart move. But I think you're dead either way. So yay! <laughs> Game set. Good job. Oh, I got Darkstalker characters, just as promised. You beat her, you get Darkstalker's cards. Hi, Zinko. She's cool. So now we'll fight against Fuma. 
and try our metal against this guy. See if he gets his butt kicked or not. Come on, let me go first. Yeah, I'm fighting a ninja um, player. Oh good, I can go first. That's kind of neat. See, I didn't draw anything because I was the first to go. And we're going to put in Cheeky because she's cool. And she has a lot of SP, four of them. Oh, Heo from Project Justice, all right. And Regina, we're going to use um, Jin Satome. And then we're going to use Awakening on Sheiks. And then we'll attack. Take that, Hio, Heo. I think it's Heo. Whenever you see a Y and an, y and an O in a Japanese name, it's usually like an E sound, like Eo, not Io. Like for the longest time, my older brother used to call Ryu Ryu because of the hard consonant, I guess. Oh, my Sharnui, cool, all right. Okay, Dash, that's a good one. We're gonna put it Omicon Psyche. You stand by. And uh, we're gonna put in. You know what? We're gonna put in someone really powerful. Wherever he is. Krauser. Wolfgang Krauser. Oh, yeah. He is a power hitter. 1,200 battle points of ass kickery. He is the boss of Fatal Fury 2. And we're going to use a United Attack with, um, actually we're going to use, yeah, there's a method here. We're going to use Satame first. And then, Sheiks to finish it up. Cool deal. Oh, Hanzo. A Tori Hanzo, the legend of Samurai Showdown. There's Krauser. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just attack regular. Why not? Of course, he counters my uh, Umikon Saki. Alright. Not too bad, kid. You got moves. Mr. Uh, Ninja Wannabe. Now, I'm going to deal some serious, like, damage to him. You'll see what I'm going to do. Oh, crap, he used Frigid Smirk. That means I can't, like, can't draw. Okay, that's that's it. We're putting in Krauser. And we're going to uh, KO Sheiks. All right. And then, we're going to use Satome ability to KO Sogetsu. Now, in my turn. Easy peasy lemon breezy. Ah, oh, jeez, this is tough. Ah, oh, got your BP rage for your Maki, all right. All right, Natsu, that's a pretty good one. You know what? No, we're not gonna use that. Um, Ah, screw it. We're going to use K-Dash. Make the battle points go down a bit. Attack with 900? That's not bad. Alright. K-Dash is handy. It's actually ideal to use K-Dash when your opponent has three cards in a ring and you only have, like, zero or one. That's what really comes in handy. Oh, you damaged my K-Dash. You suck. Go. Oh, there's Rose again. All right. I think I want to search here. That's 700. Um, I think we're gonna use Rose. Why not? Use a tarot card. Um, I want Psych up. I want Iori. And oh, I almost want all of them. I will right, we'll get rid of Nako. We'll get rid of Regina. And we'll get rid of Natsu. Why not? 
And then we're going to do United Attack with K Dash and Wolfgang Krauser. Sounds like a solid policy to me. Oh, I cannot beat the Krauser. He is tough and strong. Super manly. Down to a thousand HP, alright. No option, really. That's a weak card. Omicon Saki. Uh, we're going to put in Iori. Then we're going to use Psych Up. And then, um... I think this might fit. No, it's not going to finish up. We'll just attack regular. Why not? Sounds like a solid idea to me. Overheat, really? Oh, you discard two of my things. Lame. Alright, option. Take my magical, like, pulsating water crap. Alright. Alright, there's Krauser and his tornadoes. Tornado of Doom. Please don't... Okay. Kanzuki, yeah, he's a, he's a tough one. Okay. Who am I sure knew he? And Whip. Oh, oh. I don't know if I'll be able to use them, because <laughs> this is going to be it. I'm going to use a solid attack. Mwahahaha. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's going to KO him, I think. Alright, Yuri Gami with his purple flames. And that's how we beat the dude. All right. Oh, well, I got Kaede, Mor uh, Moria, and Juzo, and Wakazusha. Cool. Last Blade characters. And I think just for the heck of it, we're going to beat up this like little schoolgirl and then call it a day. That sounds like a solid idea to me. Good, I get to go first. Yay! Gonna kick Haruna's butt. And I'm gonna throw in Morrigan, because she's cool and has a lot of SP. I'm gonna use uh, Psych Up, get more SP, and we'll end the turn. Sounds solid to me. Oh, Guile. Lovely, alright. Mr. I'm gonna, like, stop your abilities, because I'm a prick. And we're going to use Tron Bond and Awakening. We're going to use Awakening on Morrigan and then attack. Use my purple magic attacks on you. Oh, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> and look at that. Like, Morrigan has an ability called Life Sucker. If she attacks the HP of my enemy, her battle points goes to my HP, and that's why I have 4,000 instead of 3,000 now. <laughs> it's really handy. Time Bomb and Kula. Cool, okay. We'll put in Kula Diamond. And then we're going to... We'll just attack regular. I, I want to save my SP a little bit. So Morrigan versus Kiyosuke. Other rival schools. There's tons of rival school characters in this. I love it though. It's it's a lot of variety. Up oh, Tronbon got beat. All right. Ah, oh, Sagat. Darn it. Ah, oh, Sagat is strong. Strong dude. We're going to use best shot, I think. And I'm going to get. We'll put Showtime in. That's a good action card. Especially when I have three in the hand. Then we're going to use um, Kiyosuke. Then Showtime. And then we're going to attack United. Sounds like a good idea. And this will get the Sagat out of the way. So God is tough. He's always tough. Like, even in the old Street Fighter games, he deals, like, massive damage with his Tiger Knee and his Tiger Blast and all that. 
Okay. So we're in a pretty good position right here. Indulge real. Ah, oh, crap. Everyone's 200 battle points now. Okay. We're going to put in Akari. And then. Let me see here. We'll just attack regular. Why not? Got my Kyosuke. Hey, I zapped it. He has like a big, big old hole in his head now. <laughs> Take that Guile. I'm Sergeant Guile. Bison's ass is mine. All right. All right, Haruno, what you got up your sleeve? Oh, here you go, okay. Oh, that's what's time gone to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah, why not? Screw it. I wanna deal with you. <laughs> Oh, it's showtime again. Cool, okay. Alright, Akari, you do your thing. So now we're basically back at not having any cards in the ring on both sides. Which is fine with me, I don't care. Oh, she doesn't have any cards yet. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we both don't have any cards yet. Oh, now she does. Okay. Give me, give me a character. Ah! Oh, itch. I might lose this round, actually. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, I can't really do anything. <laughs> Alright. No counter. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have went through my character cards like I did. Sacrificed a lot. Okay, there's Remy. All right, yay, got something. Yeah, this game gets heated as heck. It's a lot of fun. Oh, Falcon, lovely. And we're gonna use, uh, I can't use Robot Punch, nah. We'll counter, why not? It's all I can do at this point. Really hoping my next card is like Krauser. If I didn't use them already, I forget. Krauser would really even up the play field. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. There's going to be a method of my madness here. Just bear with me. Mai has an ability where you discard all your cards and draw five. But now she lost that ability. And Mega Man has it. Darn it. Ugh, sucks. This really sucks. Oh man, this is gonna really hurt. Okay, I got Lucifer, that's cool. Um, put in Lucifer, and yeah, I can't use Mai's ability now, which is pretty garbagey. All right, Mai sure knew you missed Boobs McGee. I don't care, he's already frozen. That's not gonna phase me. Bye, my. Bye, bye, my. <laughs> bye, my. Okay. I'm really hoping for a uh, yeah, we'll use robot punch against Falcon. And then no counter. Of course, Morgan's going to do the life sucker thing that I used before. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Yep. Luckily there wasn't too much. Okay, I got Whip. Alright, Whip is good. And then we'll use Lucifer. There we go. I think I think I think we'll be okay as long as we keep pushing her back. And uh trying to annihilate her. She's she's a she's a very hardcore pair person to fight against. Okay, we're gonna care uh Counter Falcon. Alright. Really hoping I get a K dash. If I, I, I forget if I use K dash yet or not. 
Yep, and get your little HP, whatever, I don't care. Oh, Kia, okay, that's a good one. Cheers, buddy. So now, Lucifer and Damned are gonna cancel each other out. Okay, don't give me any grief. Okay, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Counter. We'll counter Morrigan this time because we don't want her sucking my life out. Give me a good character card. All I need is like a 800 or more battle point card. Okay. Psyche is really good to have. And we're going to put in... Huh. I don't know if I went Krauser, actually. Screw it. I'll put in Jin Satane. Okay. Then we'll attack with Kyo. Yeah, Kyo's doomed. Yeah, I can't really get around that one. <laughs> that, was, that was a little bit of a tough, tough match there. Hey, we're going through the cards like crazy now. Okay, yeah, we're countering. Oh, that's nothing. All right. Okay. So the next card I draw will be um, Satame, and Satame is pretty damn good. Use him. You know what, we're going to just... No, we'll attack. We'll attack. Alright, Nats. Natsu. Oh, uh, you're getting psyched up again? Really? Uh, not Queen B. Queen B, she's allowed to draw all of her Queen B cards to back her up. That's definitely something I don't want to step in. <laughs> Hands down, no. Be my bullet fist of justice. Or whatever I represent. Okay, I got Natsu. Yeah, Natsu too. Alright. Okay, we're going to use... Jin Satame to commit Kari Kari. Cool. All right. Chris Redfield. Haha, <laughs> you can't do crap. There's Grace. Yeah, why not? I'll use Grace. I don't care. And then we'll attack with Natsu. Take that, Mr. Resident Evil. Mr. Uh, have it cold 45 and shit. Alright. Ah, uh, Hugo, really? Oh, you're really bringing out the powerhouses. Okay, we we'll use Sheiks. And, uh, what does that turn out? Need this. Good. I'm glad his HP uh, battle points went down. Really? Oh, you suck. Okay, I got an idea. We're going to put in Shiki. Now, we're going to put in Terry Bogard. Then we're going to use SP Partner. And then we're going to put in Shiki. Aha! How about them apples? <laughs> All right. So now I have, the, I have an edge now. I could probably push through this, hopefully. Oh, does this how points always go to 500? It's kind of bonkers. Okay, there's a Makan Psyche. And we're gonna put in... We're gonna put in Vanessa. Why not? Then we're going to do Unite Attack. Or wait. You know, I just... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to use a night attack. Sheiks and uh, Terry Bogard going at it. I think this might... I think we're on to something here. OK, 
Okay, 400 more to go. You got your 500 crap. Good for you. You have to use grace, really? Ah, uh, okay. It's gonna be a little tough. We'll use Vanessa. And then we'll attack United. And hope this does it. I don't think it will. I think I think we have to have like 100 more battle points of damage to do. But I think we're on the right track though, hopefully. Yeah, we got one more to go and then she's done. Remy, I don't care about you, Remy. I think this is it, guys. I'm gonna... You know what? Screw it. Three-way attack. Let's go. Bring it, dude. Got Psyche, Terry Bogard, and Miss Vanessa to wreck her up. Good job, Vanessa. You're so cool with your punching skills. She's one of my favorite King of Fighters chicks, by the way. I love using her in King of Fighters 2000. Well, anyway, let's look at Card Fighters Clash 2, the English Expanded Edition by Flavor. Hope you guys take care. Peace out.